What's going on, you lot? I hope you're all sweet. So I know it's been a bit of a while, mate, but like, you know you got them mates and you don't see them for three weeks and then you see them and you're like, yes, mate, what's going on, you all right? And they're like, yeah, mate, sweet. So people, today's video is gonna be a slightly different kind of video. We're gonna get a little bit techy, mate. Now, I don't usually get techy on the channel, um, unless, of course, it's techno, but recently I've been thinking, yeah, I use a laptop every single day but I don't really know what actually goes inside a laptop, what the components actually do to allow my edit to be super seamless, how to render files really fast. Like, I just don't understand the components actually inside a laptop. And I think as creators, we just wanna focus on like the creative process, focus on our storytelling and the actual physical creation of your project. You don't really wanna be thinking about the numbers and all the nitty gritty nerdy stuff. You just wanna make a film. But at the end of the day, we all need a laptop that's actually gonna put up with the workforce that we're actually gonna throw at it. So yeah, mate, how do you know what you're actually looking for when you're buying a laptop? So this year I've been lucky enough to work alongside a company called Intel. Now I've heard that they know a little bit about laptops. So I actually approached them and said, look, Intel, I'm not being funny I actually don't really understand what all of these components actually mean is there a way that like you can potentially teach me and they were like yeah mate of course and um, I also said look if you're gonna teach me why don't I relay it all to my audience why don't we do a video about how we can you know like teach you lot teach me you know so thanks to Intel for sponsoring today's video why don't we send in we'll ship in a big time tech youtuber to give you the rundown big time tech youtuber are you thinking who I'm thinking yeah mate we know just the bloke. Some say he is the most techy bloke in the whole of YouTube. He's six foot two, dashingly handsome. It's the one and only, the tech chap. Come in, mate. James, I mean, you're not wrong about any of those things, but <laughs> that's very kind of you to say. It's good Listen, to be here. This is amazing. Right, Tom, thanks so much for coming on. Today we're gonna be getting a little bit techy um, because someone like me, I'm a creator. You're more in the tech space. Mm -hmm. Creators don't always know what to look for when it comes to laptops. Here's one we made earlier. <laughs> yeah, we made this with our <laughs> bare hands. So for me, typically, I just want a laptop that actually works, that allows me to edit on demand. So I constantly am traveling. All I want is something small, compact, light. That's what I know what to look for physically. Mm. Tell me a little bit about the components inside a laptop that people should be looking for. Because I've kind of got an idea what sure. like an SSD is. Yeah. I kind of know what a GPU is, but I don't really know what they actually... Hey, careful, you're gonna bend me new laptop um, in half. Is, oh, is that not supposed to happen? This geezer turns up from the studio, <laughs> starts snapping laptops. <laughs> you can, every laptop technically bends, but only once. Yeah. This is the Yoga C940. It's one of the first generation of uh, these new Project Athena uh, innovation program laptops. But fundamentally, laptops are made up of processors, so CPU, GPU, RAM, and storage. They're the main things. And without getting too technical, Basically, the processor is the brain, the GPU is the graphics, the RAM is the memory, and then the storage is the storage. If you're, say, editing 4K video or raw photos in Lightroom, you're gonna want, just off the top of my head, a spec like uh, the most recent 10th gen i5 or i7 processor, yeah. ideally 16 gigs of RAM, and with actually the new 10th gen processors, they come with much faster built-in graphics. They're calling cool. it the Iris Plus graphics chip, which is uh, up to twice as fast as the previous gen. So actually with that, you don't really need a dedicated graphics card anymore. Okay. Uh, it, previously you'd have to have a bigger laptop with a dedicated GPU so you cool. could do some video editing. So i5 or i7, 16 gig of RAM. Uh, the integrated chip is pretty good now, although you can, if you have a dedicated graphics card, you'll yeah. get more performance. And probably 512 gigs of SSD storage. Okay, right, Tom. Check, check, check. Tons of information as well. <laughs> right, let's break that this down. That was a simplified version. <laughs> Mate, oh, I'm glad I leave the technical stuff to these lot, honestly. So let's break this down really quickly, yeah. the processor. Okay, so the processor is kind of like the, the brain. It links everything else together. It does the logic and stuff uh, versus the graphics. The main sort of CPU versus the GPU thing. Right. GPU uh, does the graphics, so displays cool. what's on the screen. Right, so if okay, you're playing yeah. a game, um, the CPU will be doing the AI, will be doing the logic, the coding stuff behind right, the scenes. Okay. The GPU will be actually pumping out the pixels, so pumping oh, out the I visuals see, right. yeah, yeah, cool. for what's on the screen yep. that you visually see. And then the RAM is the memory. Uh, so the best way of describing how RAM makes a difference if you have a dozen Chrome tabs open, it's probably going to start chugging. Yep. The more RAM you have, the more memory it has to cool. keep that stuff in its mind so that it doesn't have to uh, sort of reopen it every time. Got you, got you. So the higher the clock speeds of the processor, 
uh, the you know same with the graphics card. The more RAM you have, it just enables you to do more before cool. you see it start to chug a bit. Your laptop is only as fast as its slowest component. Right. So if you have a really powerful graphics card, but so in my case it's me. I'm the slowest component. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, but yeah. yes, quite right. But if you have a really powerful graphics card, but an older processor or a slower one or not enough RAM, then it'll bottleneck it. It'll sort of right. choke it, cool. so you won't get the full potential. Yeah. So that's why it's important to kind of get a good all-round laptop. Yeah. And that's Definitely. where looking at specs kind of yeah. comes into play. Because sometimes I use. Premiere Pro and I also use Photoshop to make the assets for the video that I'm right. making at the time. So will RAM help me that it will. way? Yeah? It will. Cool. And so with this, we've got 16 gigabytes in here, which is yeah. a good level. I mean, you can go up to 32 or 64 in more uh, high-end machines, but a lot of that's overkill. If you're doing rendering 3D design, you'll, you'll use more. But for gaming, I reckon eight gigabytes is fine. Yeah. Gaming, Editing? Editing, 16. 16? 16, 16 cool. if you can. Yeah. Uh, eight, you'll... You, you'll be struggling yeah, a little bit. Cool. Especially if you've got resolution. So if you're editing 4K or higher res uh, raw photos. Yeah. As people will start to do more of 4K will become the standard of what like 1080p is now, but we're touching so. on 4K becoming the standard. Well, we're though. touching on 8K so, as well. It's not in, mate. it's kind of crazy, but yeah. you're starting to see um, you know, 8K red cameras, Premiere yeah. Pro, File Cut, being able to edit 8K. That's way off for most of us. But actually these devices now, even though they're really thin and light and have good battery life, yeah. you can get away with light 4K editing, yeah, which definitely. is impressive. Yeah. There's one more thing that is important, and that's the storage, yep. the SSD. And actually on most of these modern thin and light laptops, you're pretty much guaranteed to get an SSD, all, all yeah. recent ones. And that has made the biggest difference to performance yeah. coming from older hard drives, uh, just to boot times, yeah. loading up Windows, opening apps, uh, being able to um, edit things, yeah. it, it, it makes such a difference. So make sure it has an SSD, but you're pretty much guaranteed to have one in a recent laptop anyway. Cool. And actually that brings us kind of onto ports a little bit. Uh, this actually has a good range. You've got a USB uh, 3 yeah. Type A, uh, Type C, which also supports Thunderbolt 3. Yeah, see, you were the one, Tom was actually the one who taught me what Thunderbolt was. I didn't quite understand what Thunderbolt was, but now I'm in and out with Thunderbolt, and I actually I want to quite start swearing by it, because it will start It's the best the thing in the world. So it uses a Type C port, and it means you can plug in much faster SSD hard drives, you can plug in even higher resolution monitors, you can even plug in an external graphics card, which I quite like the idea of. You can have a thin and light laptop like this, um, take it about with you, yeah. come back, plug in your high-res monitor, plug in your external graphics card, use it as a hub, you know, put it over there, have your keyboard. Yeah. It can be a little bit of a workstation. Decent. And that's all through that port. It's actually an Intel uh, thing, Thunderbolt. Decent. And it's ch changed the world, I love it. So Brilliant. if you can, uh, for future proofing at least, when you buy a laptop, check if it has a Thunderbolt yeah. 3 port. And when you're editing video, if you're actually editing through the Thunderbolt port, you're actually going to be able to edit speed, yep. your, your speeds are going to be quicker to edit, yeah. right? You can cool. buy a Thunderbolt 3 enabled hard uh, SSD, plug it in, you'll get uh, thousands, one, two, three thousand megabit Decent. per second beats. Yeah, because the one thing that I've noticed when I'm editing video is as soon as I edit off of a Thunderbolt port, yeah. The, edit, the edit is so much better. Mm. Like That has been the one thing that has allowed my edits to be so much quicker. Absolutely. So much faster. So, the Project Athena Innovation Program. Now, this is something that Intel have told me about. Mm -hmm. um, and we obviously learned about it when we went to Taipei. If you didn't know, me and Tom went to Taipei. Such a good day. Oh, mate, we, that was went so to, much fun. Uh, we went to Computex. Honestly, that was such a sick trip. Here's a couple of snaps that me and Tom got outside. <laughs> a, uh, outside a, I think it was a little bar outside the Taipei 101 building. Honestly, it was so much fun. The light in there was stunning. Anyway. Your photography, though, is insane, I have to oh, say. Thanks, if you mate. haven't, I'm sure you have, but check out his Instagram as obviously as well as his YouTube. The photography is next level. He plugs my own channel for me, honestly. Yeah. Cheers, but mate. before that, I'll send, like and subscribe send me to the, the tech send, chat. <laughs> absolutely. Send me the invoice after, mate. Of Cheers. Course, mate. So the Project Athena Innovation Program. I've heard very good things about this, and I know that it's going to be a massive thing for creators, and it's something that I'm really looking forward to next year. What are we looking at? It's a bit of a mouthful, but essentially, you've, you've heard of Ultrabook. Yep. yep. There's a, a term, a phrase, like, yeah. that's an Ultrabook. Basically, that was an Intel branding thing from a few years ago, and it meant a thin and light laptop. Uh, with a touch screen and use an Intel processor. So it's kind of like a, a standard. So, so it's like an across the board standard of yeah. requirements that a laptop has. Of, from yeah. various manufacturers. Yeah. So we've seen the first wave of these laptops come out. This Lenovo Yoga C940 is one of them. Yeah. And it basically means Lenovo has worked with Intel, co-engineered this laptop, and it has to meet a certain spec. And these things are like having the latest 10th gen processors, having the latest Wi-Fi 6 chip, which is uh, more future-proofing and more reliable, having a touchscreen, having instant on, having fast charging, Windows Hello support, Thunderbolt 3. 
All these things that you want, that we were talking about a second ago, yeah. all the things you'd want in a premium laptop without really having to get into the nitty gritty of the specs, yeah. which I love. And so if you go into a store and be like, I'm not sure what laptop to buy. I want one that is a Project Athena-based laptop. And you'll start to see a little um, particular visual identifier, uh, which means it's part of this program. Yeah, because what I kind of took away from the Project Athena Innovation Program was that it essentially allows you to open up and start your project super fast. Yeah. So it's all like the, the face, the AI face recognition that when you load up and whatnot. For me, when I'm traveling, I'll usually go to Epping Station, mm -hmm. get on the train. Which is beautiful, by the way. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> it's a decent station, yeah. Um, so I usually get on the train, sit on the train for like 45 minutes an hour to get into central yeah, London. Yeah, I just did that coming here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I had to pick them up from the station, mate. It's it first nice. ever cola. Can you believe it? <laughs> so yeah, I sit on the train for about an hour. Yeah. I then probably sit in a coffee shop for 20 minutes while I wait for my train at Euston, get on a train at Euston to Manchester or wherever, or I'm getting on a plane. Non so absolutely nonstop. But it's so annoying having to stop, start, stop, start yeah. when you want to try and edit a project, when you've got a client deadline. So the thing that I think creators are mostly going to take from the Project Athena Innovation Program is essentially the fact that you're traveling about, you're getting on the train, yep. boom, bang, project's on and you can go. No boot up times. Do you want to see how fast that was? Because this yeah. is called Instant On. It's a new feature. Instant On. Decent, mate. Yeah, and then, then you're works. straight. Yeah, it did. Yeah, and then, then you're straight in on the program. Yeah, mate. it's That's like it. about a second. But that is one of the new features, uh, and actually a part of the spec of this project to the innovation program. So as you say, you've got 20 minutes in a coffee shop. You you're drinking your frappuccino latte caramel macchiato. Listen, mate, I'm a bit of a cappuccino geezer. Oh, yeah, I've, yeah. I've heard that. I've heard a lot of things. And then obviously the beauty of that Project Athena based laptop is you just don't have to worry about the specs. You just know it's yeah. going to be a powerful long battery life. Exactly. Great balance. Previously, when they claimed battery lives, you couldn't really believe it because yeah. it was like local video playback with Wi-Fi off and it's actually yeah. real world yeah. use. So actually you will get roughly what they claim. Yeah, because usually you see a laptop battery life 16 hours yeah. and you're like you get if i'm editing a 10. video there is no chance Absolutely. it's going to last that but so. it depends what you do if you're doing 4k editing of course it's going to yeah it's going to come down up, but, yeah. but it's more reliable yeah decent lovely right tom mate Maybe. I do feel like we've at least got a bit more of an idea of what is I actually so. inside these bloody things. Because, yeah, man, they are a massive part of what we do. I mean, I can't remember a day that I didn't open up Premiere Pro. I open up that program every single day. It's a massive part of my life and what I do. I feel like I live there it's sometimes, mate. Right? Yeah. Exactly. I know yeah. what you mean. And now I at least know kind of what a processor is, what the RAM does, the GPU, yeah. um, and obviously the storage, which I'm already quite familiar on. And Tom, you're an mate. expert now. Yeah, mate, I know. Tell me about it. I'm going to turn <laughs> my channel's now be a tech channel you know, <laughs> probably a techno channel so thanks to tom the tech chat probably the best channel name out there so go over to tom's channel say hello geezer literally write hello geezer in the in the comments hello geezer a -L -O. Hello. i know where you're from so, i get to yeah. take this with me right this is my um, payment yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, we, we agreed, mate. Yeah, I'll have baked beans this week then, no worries. <laughs> I hope that that video gave you guys a much better idea as to what to look for when you're looking for a laptop, because we're editors, we edit photos, we edit videos all day, every day, and we need something that's actually gonna put up with the kind of things that we throw at it. And I don't want you lot wasting your money. I want you to go out there and know what you're actually looking for, because I was a donut, I never knew what to buy, and I hope that you lot ain't donuts no more. You're I still, hope a, you still lot, a bit of a donut, Jim. I'm still a bit of a donut, yeah. Tom, thanks so much. We'll Thank be you, catching Jim. you lot very soon. Sounds good. Bye.